nice. Nice. Who's that? Who's the mogul? I'm going to say hello to everybody. Hey everybody, welcome back to Heart Talks. This week's show is called Change and the reason for that is because there's so much change going on in the world. Um, with politics, over here in the UK we've got Brexit and in the States I can't not mention what has happened and I, I like many many other people and like all of my friends thought that Hillary would get in and the fact that Trump got in is something that has really stirred up emotions and stirred up feelings for people and it's understandable. I know what it's like to be scared to be who I am and people have fought so hard to be who they are, to have the rights, the same rights as everybody else. So it's a tough time for America without a doubt and all I feel I can do is just send out my love and support and hugs and just you know, I wish I could put my hands around you all and just say that it'd be okay. But we know it's not always like that in life. So just surround yourself with people who are positive and who will bring you the strength you need at this time when you're going through this change. Other changes, obviously, the seasons, you know, it changes from spring to fall, sorry, from summer to winter. And we get have to get used to that. I'm going through big changes at the moment. I'm leaving my job that I've been in for a lot of years, for nine years, and um, I'm moving on to something else. And what that something else is, I don't know at the moment. Things change, people change, relationships change, 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 change. I found this really cool quote. Life is a series of natural and spontaneous changes. Don't resist them, that only creates sorrow. Let reality be reality. Let things flow naturally forward in whatever way they like. Now, another thing that's changed is Ricky Martin's feelings for me. Now, you've probably seen he was on Ellen, you know, it's all over Facebook that he's engaged to his partner. Now, those feelings have changed completely since last week. because. Okay, that's a change that only lives in my head. I understand. I'll take that one back. Sorry, Ricky. If you watch my video Homeless, you will be able to click it up here or up here. And I came up with the idea of putting a bag together for a homeless person that you might see on the street. And this one so far has got a jacket in it. It's got some cans, it's got some tuna, it's got some rice pudding. I'm just adding to this bag gradually and before I go away I'm going to give it to somebody. I've got an idea of somebody that I see regularly on the street and hopefully it will change their Christmas, make it a bit better, make it a bit more bearable for them and give them something that they don't have at the moment. Okay, so all my videos are important. Every video I do on Heart Talks I try to make it as real, as honest um, for you guys. My next video comes out on the 1st of December, Thursday the 1st of December. And the reason that that day sticks in my head is because it's World AIDS Day. And you will see this red ribbon. Well, hopefully you'll see this red ribbon around. Now, they're not the easiest things to get a hold of. So I put the link to the Terence Higgins Trust just down in the description box below. And you can get on their website and get a red ribbon from them. And wearing the red ribbon on your chest shows that you are supporting people with AIDS, people with HIV, um, people that are, are in need of help because of this illness. I, you know, it's something that's very close to my heart. You know, it's a you've you've met Nello. You've you know you've you know that there's people in my life that suffer from this illness, and I want to. I want to show you how important it is on the 1st of December. So one of the things that's also changing is my Christmas 
Christmas is always weird for me, or has always been weird for me. I love Christmas, but I remember one year I went to bed and spent Christmas completely alone. Didn't eat, didn't do anything. And that's the way I felt because I didn't have a family. And believe me, I only did that once because it was one lonely ass Christmas. And after that, I've always tried my hardest to make Christmas special. And it's just my own way, you know, I have my little things that I do. But this year I'm doing something different. This year I'm making a change. And that change involves packing a suitcase, getting on an aeroplane and going to... New York. I am going to New York for Christmas. I am going to head to New York in four weeks time. Going to interview some people who were involved with Shadow Dreamer. Going to talk to friends that I made there. Going to follow people around. Going to annoy people like only I can do. And then I'm going to be there at Christmas. And I would really like to do something important on Christmas Day, whether it's feeding homeless, whether it's doing something like that. So if you guys have got any contacts, you know, if there's anybody in New York watching that's got contacts that's doing anything like that on Christmas Day, let me know. Put it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And if anybody sees Ricky Martin, would you please tell him to give me a call? Thank you. Love you. Bye. Please remember to like, to share, to comment, and of course, to subscribe. Thanks a lot. Take care.